KARK for today. 612 now if you're just waking up and like Claire and I said at the beginning of the show, we're wearing blue because March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. This morning we are joined by Dr. Johnny Jones with Premier Gastroenterology. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank and you, you know, yeah. I feel like colon cancer is something that often goes undetected. Mm -hmm. So if you have advice for people watching this morning, how do you know when to get screened? Yeah, so, you know, as a typical rule, you know, we usually start uh, for individuals at the age of uh, 45 um, regarding uh, performance of colonoscopy. Uh, colonoscopy is going to be sort of the procedure of choice for colon cancer screening. And uh, we usually advise beginning at the age of 45, male and female, those individuals need to be screened for colon cancer. Now, you also have individuals who may have a primary relative with a diagnosis of colon cancer. Let's say they were diagnosed at 55 years of age, the relative the parent uh, in this case, those individuals would also need to begin at 45, uh, you know, for purposes of colon cancer screening. So it, 10 years prior to when they were diagnosed. And that number was recently changed because before it was at an older age, but now it seems like it's getting younger and younger for that suggested colonoscopy. Right, yeah, we're seeing increased incidences of uh, colon cancer in younger individuals and that's what prompted um, the uh, agencies to decrease that, decrease the screening age. And sometimes it can be really intimidating to talk about, you know, signs and symptoms. Are there any where you say, hey, you know what, you should come get checked out? Yeah, so, you know, we call them, you know, um, alarm symptoms, warning signs. Those would be uh, things where perhaps the narrowing of the, there's been narrowing of the stool caliber, uh, perhaps rectal bleeding, uh, unintentional weight loss. These are just some of the things where, you know, if you're experiencing these, things you need to be evaluated uh, for that. And talk about how important it is to really just pay attention to your health. Yeah, so I mean, you know, holistically it's just good to, you know, kind of keep an eye on, you know, your health, those sorts of things. A lot of our patients, we advise high fiber diets, things of that nature, not only for the, um, you know, uh, advantages fiber confers for cholesterol and blood sugar regulation, but it's also thought to be p possibly a protective risk factor for the, de the development of colon cancer. So it has a number of advantages uh, that we try to exploit. And just globally, it's good to keep an idea of your overall health status. And really quickly, you guys have made it really easy for people to get in because obviously it can be really intimidating to get yes. into a specialist. Yes, so um, we have a number of ways um, for uh, patients to access us, Premier Gastroenterology. Our website is pgalr.com. Um, on that website, you find a patient access point through which you can uh, access the portal and um, you can send your information to us to see if you would be a candidate for direct access colonoscopy. Um, we also have um, means through which individuals can be referred directly to the clinic uh, through their primary care provider and that sort of thing. So there are a number of ways through which um, you can access us so that we can get your colonoscopy scheduled in a timely fashion. Yeah, so important to take care of your health, yeah. especially a month like this, Colon Cancer Awareness Month. Dr. Yeah. Johnny Jones from Premier Gastroenterology, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Yeah. And hopefully help some of you guys out.